So in yesterday's video, we looked at rounding numbers to the nearest 10. In this video, we're going to be looking at rounding numbers to the nearest 100. Hope it helps. Let's say we've got the number 4,353. We should know that the four in this number represents 4,000. The three in this number represents 300. The five in the number represents 50, which is five lots of 10. And the three represents three lots of one. All right, let's say we wanted to round this number to our closest hundred. We're gonna first think about this hundreds column. So it's either gonna go down to just 300, or it's gonna go up to the next 100, which will be 400. To work out whether it's gonna go down to just 300, we're gonna get rid of these tens and ones and just leave it at 300. Or whether we're gonna go up to the next, up to 400, we're gonna to have to think about what would be right in the middle of 4,300 and 4,400. And to do that, you need to think, what is half of 100? Well, we should know that half of 100 is 50. So if we've got more than 50, it would go up to 400. If we've got less than 50, then it's gonna go down to 300. So to work that out, we're gonna look at the tens column. Do we have more than five in the tens column? Well, we've got exactly five in the tens column. But when we round, we should know that if it's five or higher, in this case, if we're rounding to the closest hundred, if it's 50 or higher, then it's gonna to have to be rounded up. So we're gonna round this up because there's five in the tens column. So it's gonna go up to get the next hundred. So it's gonna be rounded up to 4,000 for hundreds. We've rounded up our hundreds column. Instead of a three, we've rounded up to a four. 4,400 is going to be the closest hundred to 4,353. So let's have a go at rounding some more numbers to the closest hundred. We've already done that first one. We said that we'd have to round the three, the three hundreds up to four hundreds because we've got 50 in the tens column. So we said that would get rounded up to 4,400. But let's have a go at a few more. This one, if we're gonna round up the, or round down our hundreds column, then we would need to look at our, what, our tens column here. We've got zero in the tens column. So we're gonna round it down, or in this case, just gonna stay exactly the same. There's no reason to go up to 600. The closest 100 is the number that it's already on. 3,500 is already a multiple of 100, so we don't need to round that one. Let's have a look at our next one. There's our hundreds column. It's 3,428. We're gonna look at our tens. Is it more or less than 50? Well, 20 is less than 50, so it's gonna get rounded down. Just gonna leave it at 3,400. Again, we've got zero in our tens column. This is already a multiple of 100, so we can leave that one as it is. In this question, we're gonna round 4,679. Think about our hundreds, because we're rounding it to the closest hundred. Is it gonna go up to 700 or stay at 600? Well, 70 is more than the 50, which is halfway. We're gonna round it up to 4,700. We're gonna go up to our next 100. 4,752. Is the 700 gonna go up to 800 or is it gonna stay as it is? Well, we're past that 50, we're past that halfway. So it's gonna get rounded up to the next 100, which is 4,800. This question, we've got 3,507. We're thinking about our hundreds column. We're gonna round it up to 
3,600 or leave it at 3,507. We've got zero in our tens column, so it's just gonna be rounded down. 3,550 would be halfway, definitely less than that. So we're gonna leave it at 3,500. It's only seven more than 3,500, but it would be 93 away from the next multiple of 100, which would be 3,600. And in this last one, we're gonna look at our hundreds column. We're gonna think, is it more than 8,650 or is it less? Well, we've got three in the tens column. That's less than 50. So we're gonna round this one down. It's gonna be left at 8,600. All right, hopefully that helped you with finding what the nearest multiple of 100 is for each of those numbers. That's what you're going to be doing today on the work that I've set you on Seesaw. If you have any problems, just drop me a comment or send me a message.